Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today we are in the creepy basement. It's gonna be a quick video because the weather is great outside. But I have some batteries that I want to start seeing if I if I can charge. It's winter is coming, and you know winter is inside. So I'm probably gonna be spending a decent amount of time in the basement doing small projects. I want to get an early start <laughs> and um, get some batteries up and running. And uh, just to, to start with something funny behind me here, I have a battery on the table right here. In the comments, I have been teased that I destroy so many batteries. And uh, just to make some fun out of that, uh, you can see this picture right here. I took this battery and I took some acetone and I put in a drop of acetone in all of these holes and I lit it up. And, um, that was just to, um, to play around. That was just fun. Do leave a comment, I enjoy reading them. This pair of batteries, they are out of here. I have not been able to do anything for them. They're dead. Oh, I think, I think I might want these, if I can get them off. Those and throw the batteries out. Here, uh, I have a battery bank. And we have had this open before. There is a good screwdriver. In here we have eight batteries. And these are from the, I did a video where I unboxed a brand new OOPS. And these batteries was in the OOPS. It was nine years old and it had never been powered on. I tried to charge these batteries and well, that didn't work for me. Two of these batteries has three have bubbled up. This one is probably still good. This one has bubbled. Definitely not a good battery. This one has also bubbled up right there. And that's probably not good either. But these are 12 volt batteries. And I wanna check out if any of them is still in working order. I'm not sure about that. Some of them might be. These, these batteries cost me around 220 kroners each or something like them. So I'm going to be taking this apart. And to do that, flat head screwdriver and just kick them very gently like that. Oh, how do I put this back together? There we are, all the batteries are out. I'm gonna find something to put these small screws in. And put this case back on. And just put that away for now. So now I have eight batteries that I can see if there's any current on at all. Actually, I think I will just say that I have six. And I'm gonna waste the two really bad ones already now. These two, they're not good. These six might be okay. Oh, wouldn't you know, somebody forgot to turn off the multimeter. Huh. Guess I'll have to start charging that one. These can be really tough to open up because they're like airtight. I found a little trick, if you put one of the screws in, just give it a few little turns, you can push it and it will come apart. And then you just unscrew the screw again and take the multimeter apart. Gently. And I have a rechargeable battery in this, so that's, that will have to go on a charger. 
So here's another problem. I have two other batteries, same brand. This one is dirty. But um, is there any power in any of them? Uh, the multimeter is there. I do have another one, so I could just measure them. But I also have a laboratory power supply. And actually the, the voltmeter on that is directly connected to the outlets of the power supply. So if I just put these on, it actually shows the current or the voltage at least. And this is like seven and a half volts, not very much. This is eight volts. So we're gonna put this one in. I'll guess I'll have to charge it very soon. Guessing this is enough to, to get a little work out of it. Yes, and it came on right away. It's put back together. Let's just see what this says. Okay, that actually says 8.78. Um, okay. Um, let's measure the batteries, see if there's any voltage. That one has 7.4, it's not, it's not, actually I think these are the best, that's why they got so hot. No, that's not good. No, that's kind of okay. So I'm gonna try and charge these a little bit. I'm gonna find some way to charge all of them at once. And I think I have an idea. Okay. I put a wire through all these connections and I'm just gonna cut this off. It's a bit too long. Uh, it's not long enough to. Uh, no. I think this was a bit too much work. I think actually some soldering iron will do the trick. Some tin. here if, if it varies or if it's the same 7.5 7 7 7 7 cool so let's um, I'll charge this a little bit I'll charge it with 12 volts see if it's want to do that I make sure that I'm not able to overcharge these batteries, so I'm gonna restrict it to one amp. Just to stop it. Minus plus. And it's drawing one amp. Hmm, very nice. Let's see. Voltage. 12.5 volts and we'll let this run for a little bit and see what happens something like half an hour has passed and the amperage has dropped from about 1 amp to about oh what is it 300 350 milliamps uh, so that probably means that they're about 12 volts and just taking in a little bit of a charge. If I measure them, the, it, the multimeter will say that it's, this is 12.7 volts. Let's try to remove the power and see what it drops to. Yeah, it drops to 11 straight away, still dropping, but not as fast. They are taking a charge. I have no idea if they will be any good. I'll give them another half hour. I've been doing other things and the battery has actually just been standing here for a couple of hours at least. So let's see how this is turning out. Probably still the same voltage, about 12 point, well, 
12.6 something. Let's cut the power. Let's see what they say then. 11.5. They are kind of keeping the voltage. That's not too bad. I will probably have to keep them on the charger and slowly charge them up. I'm just gonna. No, they are not hot. I'm gonna change out the charger. I have another charger. Can you see that? I'm gonna be using the little one up here. This one. So it's only able to charge with one amp. But for this, it should be more than enough. Set the voltage. I want to charge them with not too much. 12.7. I want to charge them with. Yeah, close enough. And we'll give them half an amp max. This one lights up green when the when the voltage is good, and this one lights up red if the amperage is not good. So if I turn down the amperage, when it's restricting the amount of amperage, it turns red. I'm just going to turn it up to half an amp and measure the voltage here, 12.47. I think it would be okay to leave this setup charging during the week when I'm not here. Half an amp should not be able to heat up these batteries or do anything bad. So I'm gonna be letting these batteries charge uh, the five days of the week where I'm not here. So hopefully they'll be fully charged when I come up here next Friday. Uh, I've been up and searching the net for batteries like this and they are about 229 kroners a piece. I'll write that down here in dollars. So they are kind of pricey. These are used for scooters to how to start those and usually they only sell one of those at a time. I don't know if I can get them cheaper than that but I will definitely have a try. Batteries are pretty expensive here but well, I really want to get an oops up and running. I need two batteries to get the small oops and up and running. I have a bigger oops and for that one I would need two more. That would be four batteries. That's almost a thousand kroners. That's kind of a lot of money. But well, we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.